French tennis ace Marion Bartoli won Wimbledon in 2013, it wasn't just the first Grand Slam title that caused her to hit the headlines. Initially attacked by critics for being too curvy in recent weeks, Marion has shocked fans and faced further scrutiny when she returned to Wimbledon three stone lighter. Well, initially putting her weight loss down to regular gym visits and healthy eating, Marion is now ready to set the record straight and she joins us to tell us more. And good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank, you for, thank you for choosing us to, to, to tell your story. So um, you wanted to come on this show and explain. Um, what explanation did you give to the Times back in February about your weight loss? So back in February, I didn't know exactly what sort of disease I was suffering from. So for me, it was all about going back into a healthy living lifestyle, about uh, enjoying my new life, about doing stuff I love to do for my fashion line, having my fashion degree from Central St. Martins, moving on into a complete different life um, outside of the tennis court. So it, it was more about really getting healthier, coming back into my normal shape. I was back then 53, 54 kilos, perfectly happy, being able to go to the gym, mm -hmm. um, enjoying my life, enjoying, yes, of course, sort of healthy food, but nothing too drastic and nothing too dramatic. Well, 54 so, kilos is about eight stone five. And as you say, you're a happy giggling person. Um, and, uh, and then there were, that was the first phase. The second phase that uh, took place started on a trip to India, you say. Absolutely. Obviously. Well, it was a whole period of sort of February because I finished Australian Open commentating for Eurosport and I flew right away to New York for New York Fashion Week to present my collection. I did a 30 hours plane ride, 50 hours jet lag, and the next morning I had to present the collection to Anna Wintour personally and to the rest of the press of Fashion Week. Mm -hmm to explain about my new line, my new fashion mm -hmm. line for, for Fila, designing for what, them. Where, where did the illness strike? So I started to feel a little bit tired and fatigued, but I was like, you know what, I just have a 30 hours plane ride, 50 hours jet lag, you can't expect to be really in a great form, and it's normal to be a bit, bit fatigued. And right after this, I started to flew to India to uh, represent Ron Garros, where we offered uh, to two young Indian kids the possibility to come and play Ron Garros Junior event. So I did this sort of three trips in a row at the beginning of February. But you, think you picked up a virus. Exactly. In India. And I, I don't know if it's one of the plane rides between each cities. I don't know exactly, but that was this whole period. Because after that, I went to, um, to Miami and Dallas to present the collection to Neiman Marcus. And I started to feel worse and worse. So by weeks and weeks that were passing on, my body was refusing more and more things. So and and the, what it was refusing was food was food, mm. anything. It can be any contact with an electrical thing. So I cannot type on my phone without gloves today. I can't wear anything that is electric directly on my skin. I start to have tachycardia. I have very bad skin reaction. It can be a tissue that someone put on my face that my body rejects as well. It's absolutely horrendous. So it's like you've sort of developed allergies to, to so, so many things. Exactly. So my life right now, it's an absolute nightmare. I mean, what I'm going through, I wish it to absolutely nobody. Um, it's, it's something that is, that has been really gradually going down. It's eating the worst part right now. So for example, to give you an example, I need to wash myself with mineral water. I cannot even wash myself with tap water. I can't be any, with any contact with tap water whatsoever. Um, I need to wear gloves when I type on my phones. So I can't be on my phones more than five minutes in a row because my heart starts to pump and my body refuses electric. I had to take off all my jewelry. I love to do jewelry. I did a jewelry course in San Francisco Martins at the end of April and I was feeling absolutely horrendous. Yeah, because, what did your doctor say? So the doctor said, you have an internal virus that we can't name, but Sir Richard Branson, which is probably the person um, I call my second father, who I adore so much, has been finding the best clinic in the world to treat that problem. And I can't wait to be on Monday there, but I have to still keep on working at Wimbledon. And I think my, the love for, the love and the passion I have for my work as a broadcaster, for my fashion. Mm -hmm. Keeps for, you going. Exactly. Because it must be very tough. Like you said, you wouldn't wish this on, on your worst enemy. Um, and, and yet you're, you're going through this, you're suffering so much. And, you look down at kind of when you made your appearance at Wimbledon, the, the tweets that have been put on your own account of people coming to their own conclusion about why you've lost this weight. And, and just to read a few of them here, people are saying, I'm worried for Marion. I think she's anorexic. I'm a big fan of hers when she was playing and loved her physique then. Somebody else says, well, that's a shocker. Is she anorexic? She does not look well. Loads of people saying this. How exactly. does that feel? Well, that's why I wanted to come in here and explain to them. 
first of all, because maybe there is other person around the world that suffers the same thing from me, and uh, maybe we can all join and be supportive. Maybe if this clinic is able to treat me, then we'll be able to send more people in there as well and treating them, because it's not a life what I'm going through right now. It's surviving methods, and it's actually, it would be very interesting for me. I will, hopefully, I'm praying God every single day to go back to a normal life. This is what I'm down to right now, because it's it's not living to just survive literally on, on trying. Every time I'm eating a little bit of something, I'm sort of scared to see the reaction of my body. Yeah. And and it's it just, it's a constant fear. So now I'm reduced to only be able to eat organic salad leaves that are not even pre-washed with cucumber without even the skin because my body can't process the skin. That's the only thing I can put in my body Because the trouble is with something long. like that, if you're so terrified about eating, then that's when it can turn into an No, because disorder. the problem is, I'm trying every single day. I'm saying, you know what, I'm gonna still try. At least I give it a try. So I have a little bit of fish. Of course, I can't process protein. So I start to go into tachycardia. I have, tachycardia is when your heart rate starts mm. to increase massively. And my body, just literally, I have to drink and drink and drink until my body get rid of that substance I didn't want inside him. But I'm still trying because I love life and I love to eat and I want to be alive. But at Are the you end, in fear of your life? Well, yes, of course, because maybe one day my my um, my heart is going to stop because you know going through all of this is difficult. But I think my my passion for life and my love for life is keep me going, and I can't wait to be Monday that clinic and just hope that and praying that the doctors will be able to treat me. And your treatment starts on Monday. My treatment starts on Monday, but I just want to uh, to say that. What I'm going through right now, I don't wish it to anybody because yeah. it's just absolutely horrendous. But life I've been through is this experience to me. And as a Wimbledon champion, I'm trying to fight my hardest to go through it and to survive. And I think when I will be back healthy again and happy and smiley, I just can't wait for that day. But I think my Wimbledon title is actually the strength I have inside me. Yeah. To well, you're fight a champion. This. You're a Wimbledon it's, it's champion. It's why that yeah. keeps me alive as well. So I just really want people to understand. I don't do that to myself on purpose. It's, this is what I'm going through. It's absolutely horrendous. Have the and doctors said that they have seen this in other people, this, this mystery virus? They have seen other people reacting like this. It was, it's hard to name it because it can be, de depending on your genetics and your blood cells and the way it reacts, it can affect different type of things and you can be affected by other things. So for me, it's chemical or it's electric and some sort of food. Um, for others, it can be when they eat something that is too salty or too oily, it can, be, it can have different types, but it's the sort of things that they have seen before. And I guess that anybody that writes tweets like these or say things, just you never know what somebody's going through until you know. And also right now, just give you the space to get the treatment that you need and hopefully get yourself back to full health. Yes, I, I hope so. But uh, you know, when I, I'm just looking forward to being Paris Fashion Week in October and present for Fila, my next collection, and yeah. what keeps me, that's what keeps me alive. And when I embroider my own shoes and I do that, you know, I'm just happy to do yeah. this. And I just, um, when I do things that I feel happy for, and that's why I was really looking forward to play at Wimbledon this year because it was the third year of celebrating my trophy. Yeah. And, um, well, you I were going just... to play in the Ladies' Invitation Exhibition Conference. Exactly, and I was just happy to just be on a tennis court and have a racket in my hand because... The doctor said you couldn't play. Exactly, which I understand because, of course, my health is so in the border limit. But for my mind, you know, it's a little bit the same when you have a kid that is in the hospital and suffer from cancer, and they have their best, you know, the biggest star they want to meet or something that comes and... and and meet them. It's just a moment of joy there they have during the sort of health problem they, mm. they have. And for me, which is the same, which is sort of mental cure treatment of of this moment of happiness and joy. Now right. I can totally understand the decision from the club because my it puts my health, you know, really at risk. Yes. And that's nice. Well, I hope that, that whatever it is that you manage yeah. to get on top of it and get back to your your uh, your usual happy good self. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very Good much. Yeah. Thank you. Look after yourself. Right. Still